All right, guys, so apparently the, the shop closes at 12 o'clock, I mean, 1 o'clock, and we didn't know that. We called them, they said we can come in yesterday, tom tomorrow, yesterday, at any time. And apparently, uh, you know, that's not how it works, so we have to head over there by 1. And if we don't make it, we'll let you guys know. And if we do make it, that'll be amazing. Miles. But, uh, Continue on to Whitewater Yeah, my Parkway. boy Jeremy is going to go fast paced on his manual track. Well, we just picked up our hood. Uh, it's from European Auto Parts. I don't know if you guys checked them out. They're in Rancho Cordova. He shout out to them. They gave me a really good deal. So we got a black F30 hood. I mean, the hood's ready for primer. That's what I mean. But I'll show you guys the hood right now. It's really nice. So this is our hood right here. So folks, it for you guys. It looks a bit scratched up, but overall it's ready for paint, so we can paint this gray. I know you guys didn't want us to wrap the car, but so that's what we're doing. We're going to get this ready for paint, uh, but we're going to go home right away because we just got a check engine light on the truck, so we don't want to risk anything. We're just going to go home and make sure everything's good, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. My brother has his friend over right now, so they're just checking out the car. Uh, but after that, guys, you got the intake and the hood. So we'll show you guys that, and we'll show you guys the install. We're super excited to do the alignment and everything. My brother just made it home. We have the hood right here. It's actually a 428i hood, so I'm hoping everything lines up properly. Um, we did measure it just a quick second because my brother came home and he didn't know it was a 428, so we're up a Rooney. We're going to have to check. We'll check if it is uh, OEM fitment. If it's not, We'll have to take it back because he did say you have 30 day return, which is great. Uh, but we're just hoping for the best that it lines up and everything. Um, in the meantime, Yusuf's coming right now. So in the meantime, we're just going to put the rubber uh, ceiling on the bumper. And then uh, we're going to start taking off the hood, transferring all the, the components of the hood, all the hardware. And then we'll mount the new hood and try to align it properly. Uh, we're missing the hood latches, the actual things that lock it down. So we will have to go down to BMW on Monday for that. We might be able to get it all in this video for you guys, so don't worry. Without further ado, let's go ahead and put the new seal because we're super excited for that. We got the seal from BMW. Uh, it was actually like 45, but they hooked it up and they gave it to us for 33. So, uh, yeah, it's OEM part, as you can see. And uh, let's go ahead and install it because we did go with aftermarket bolts. I mean, it looks not, it doesn't look that bad, but we didn't want to cover it up, make it all look OEM in the engine bay. And then also, you guys can see it's missing the intake here. Our intake finally came from China, long story short. Uh, Keys Motorsports is hooking us up with another intake, so we'll show you guys that down the road. We're going to keep the mods kind of lightweight because we do want to keep this car reliable. We do want to keep it fuel efficient for our daily. Um, we are planning on getting a truck because we do plan on doing a lot of these projects for you guys. So a truck is a pretty good investment. And uh, we'll see down the road. But uh, my brother's gonna go ahead and put on the sealer. Let's actually see how this fits exactly. <clears throat> we just got the stripping on. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of a bump there, a little bit of a bump here, but it is covering up our screws. But it's a little bit of lumps because the screws we use is a little bit thicker than the OEM ones, but we don't care. We spend 10 bucks compared to 80 bucks. When we find this car at a junkyard, we can actually find all these bolts for the low, like for, you know, for pretty much for free. We'll pick them up and we'll swap them out. But for now, this will do. The stripping is on there perfect. Um, it's not going anywhere. Now it's ready for the intake. So we're gonna go ahead and install the intake in this video as well. We wanna put on the intake, and then once you put on the intake, we wanna put on the hood. So the only thing we'll need to drive the car is the hood latches. My brother forgot to get the hood latches, so that's on him. But uh, once we get the hood latches, close the trunk, we should be able to take it out for a spin, get a logo on there, and then get the hood and the bumper painted at a shop. So we're just, well, the reason why we're, we're mounting the hood first before actually painting it is because we want to make sure everything lines up. This car wasn't an accident, so we need to make sure everything lines up properly. And once everything lines up, uh, we'll go ahead and remove all the things, take it down to the shop, get it painted, and go put it back on the car. Uh, but yeah, we want to go ahead and test fit everything. We're going to go ahead and take off all this stuff. And we're going to actually show you guys how you can reuse your tags right here. These tags, especially if you have a solar model, um, they, BMW checks this for the warranty. So if you don't have these stickers, they most likely will void your warranty. Or they won't work on your car because they'll automatically say it's, it's salvage. It's been an accident. So we'll show you guys how to remove those stickers and put it on your new hood. So if you guys are ever thinking about getting a new hood, don't throw out your old hood just yet. You want to you want to move all the hardware and you want to move the OEM stickers over at the perfect positions you can. So we'll do all the measures, we do all that stuff. We just want it to look as OEM as possible. This hood is OEM. This hood is from BMW, just unpainted. Um, so uh, that's what the dealer, that's what the, the guy at Rancho Cordova, the, the local um, parts yard said, is that we order these hoods from BMW, uh, you know, from Germany, um, but these are OEM parts, just unpainted. Without further ado, let's go ahead and install it into Here is the intake. It's 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 an OEM look. I'm, it's just a box. There's no numbers on this. We checked it from the other one. Where did we throw the other one? Right there. 
there is literally no difference at all. The only thing is we gotta put transfer the mass airflow sensor over. I'm pretty sure it already has an intake. Uh, it already has a filter inside of. It. Yes, it does. It already has a filter. We don't need to remove that. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it also has the the rubber pieces. So you guys can see it has a rubber piece right here, which is great. It has the rubber piece on this side, which we don't have, and it has the rubber piece in the middle, which we don't have. Because as you guys can see right here, when we bought the OEM parts, it didn't come with the rubber. This one, it's there, but we're gonna have to replace it because you guys can see it's broken. So we need a whole new housing for that. And this one, it's ripped off from the accident. So uh, let's go ahead, install this bad boy, and uh, plug in the master phone sensor. Alright guys, so we just noticed something I was trying to install. So we got the master airflow sensor here, and then we have the vacuum uh, line right there. We gotta plug in our vacuum. On this one, it doesn't even have the vacuum. It just has the master airflow sensor, which is a complete issue. So, I don't think we can use this. This is from China. So I guess that's what you get from buying from China. It cost us 150 bucks, so it wasn't even that cheap. So we're gonna go ahead and send this thing back. Uh, Keys Motorsports is hooking us up with uh, an intake, so they have a different aftermarket one. Hopefully we can pass smog with that. But once it gets here, we'll install that. But as of now, again, we're gonna use the, the cracked up one, uh, you know, just for now. Well, that's kind of a bummer, but who cares? Uh, let's go ahead, we put the, the molding. So let's go ahead and uh, start removing this hood. Hopefully it's not too hard. Okay, first test fit. It needs to be pushed back. This is an OEM BMW, this is BMW grip on. This is an OEM hood, but when we close it, the gaps are completely off. And let me show you guys what we mean exactly. Um, so I'm gonna put this down real quick. So you guys can see, actually, I'm really impressed. There's a little bit of a gap right there, but it's a little bit tighter here. So if we just move the bumper slightly like that, it's gonna be perfect. The gaps are absolutely insane. We're really happy with that. But now we come around to here. You guys can see, this gap is insane. And there's no way we can move the bumper this way because on this side, it's the exact same way. So this is a four series hood. If we pop up the hood right now, and you guys look right here, it does say four series hood. So that sucks, it's whatever. Even on the Recept, it said four series. My brother didn't really make sure, but he did ask for a 328 and they gave him a 428 by accident. So we're gonna have to go back on Monday when they're open and ask them for the correct hood. We're gonna leave this hood on the car right now because we don't wanna scratch it or I don't want them to give us any issues on replacing the hood that they gave us the wrong one of. Because I called him the day before, my brother went in the same day, he called him the same morning seeing a 328. We just wanna make sure we don't wanna drive out for no reason. And you know, things happen in life. In the meantime guys, we did notice something and uh, that could have avoided the big old hassle. This front end piece of the front bumper that got destroyed, the OEM, they threw it in the trunk, and it has all the OEM screws. That could have cost us 80 bucks, but it's all right here. So, shout out to them for throwing it in the trunk. We did not notice that, so we're just gonna put back the OEM screws and show you guys that. Um, but we're gonna put it on one video. We're gonna try to wait. I'm gonna hold off this video. We're gonna go get the new hood two days from now. So we'll, we'll check back with you guys. We got the new screws put in, and when it's Monday, so we can get the we can bring the new hood here. All right, guys. So this is a couple days later, and uh, we just figured out something that this hood, the 435, 428, fits a 328, 335 with no issues. So that gives us an issue. So when we close the hood, show you guys the gap. This is not 100% bolted on. The gap in the front is pretty good, but the gap on the sides is atrocious. So we're gonna try to figure out the gap, what's going on here, gonna try to bend th some things back. Um, we're assuming when I pull this bad boy up, that it has to do with this right here because when we pull these out to straighten it out with the radiator to straighten out the bumper, these guys probably got bent in the process because of the original accident. So we need to figure out how we can fix these guys. Um, on both sides and once you figure out those then when the fender should line up perfectly we might be able to look up this part number and just order this this might be an orderable piece because it does have two bolts and that's all there is to it so we'll look into that and uh but without further ado let's go ahead and just remove all the bolts on the fender and try to see if we can get it to come in a little more So 
Well, um, I think that concludes the video. We're trying to align it. We did the best that we can do when it comes to aligning. In terms of what's going to happen now, I think we're just going to take it out of the body shop. Uh, Twinkie is just going to take care of the whole car for us. I really don't want to, like, you know, try to finesse anything or bend anything where it should be bent. I mean, we go Arab style, but there are limits, you know. We want this car to look proper and to fit proper. Everything... Thank the Lord, fits in the front end with the bumper. Everything's super flush, everything looks super good. So our only major issue is with the fenders um, and the hood. So body shops are good at that, that's what they do. They can line it all up properly for us and they can paint it all for us and make it flow with the fender, flow with the rest of the car and make it look OEM as heck. So that also means we can get a reveal for you guys. So in the meantime, as the car gets fixed up, I'm gonna drop it off and it's gonna get, you know, the whole front end is gonna get repainted um, and this and that. Once all that gets done, we'll show you guys the reveal of the whole car when we go to pick it up. I'm sure it's gonna be really exciting. I'm hoping it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be some good results. And then you guys will be able to actually see the finished product when we pick it up. Actually, it's gonna be kind of a surprise for both of us because then you guys see the finished product and we finally see the finished product. Um, because of how much time we've been working on it. So they're gonna do the, fin the, the final touches to make this thing look like you know, a rebuild. It's not gonna actually look like there's something off. It's not gonna look like a salvage title. We want it to look OEM as possible. I'm not too fond of that. I'm taking this down to the shop, but at the same time, we don't have the equipment now, and we're not financially able to afford that equipment now, so down the road, we will. Don't worry. So I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. Make sure you guys smash the like button, and uh, if you guys wanna support the channel, make sure to cope a decal down below, and we'll shout you guys out in the next video. All right, guys, remember to stay humble, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.